All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Really appreciate you all. Welcome to the new term. My name is Sarah O, oh, and I'm here with our president and founder, Shai Reshif. I'm going to go ahead and let him say hello to you all. Well, hi, Sarah, and welcome, everyone. Um, I'm very happy to talk to everyone who is interested to learn more about us as we just started our new academic year this week. Yes, super exciting. I hope every single one of you who are starting your classes, if you're a new student or a returning student, are having a wonderful start to your new term. We're going to I'm going to ask um, Shai a few questions so that he can give you all some advice for this start to the new term. So you can all start off strong and get the encouragement you need to be super starter students for this term. So question number one, um, what advice would you give to our new UO people students? You know, I just sent a, an email a couple of days ago to all of our new and continuing students. And the main message that I had there was, listen, all of us as students experience difficulties. Right. Uh, sometimes it becomes hard. It becomes hard. Sometimes we feel like giving up. And my advice, never give up. Yeah. Stick to your goals. Um, overcome any difficulties as hard as it is because eventually you will be grateful. And I always have every time, every month, I have a few students who come to us after they drop out and a year, two years later, they come and say, I'm so sorry, can I come back? Well, don't be one of those. Please stay with us and achieve your dreams because the University of the People is your future. So grab it hard and make sure that you succeed. Yes, that's a great piece of advice. You know, college is never easy, even if you're learning online. So please do not give up. Please stick through it. The hardships are only temporary. Your degree is forever once you graduate from University of the People. Um, and question number two, how can new students start the term strong? I think that you should be um, you should be very disciplined. Try to be as disciplined as you can. Decide when is the best time for you to study, whether because you concentrate better in the morning or in the evening, whether because of work you would like to study before work or after work. Maybe you have kids and you feel like, well, my best time to study is after they, I put them to sleep or maybe before they wake up, whatever it is. But try to plan a schedule, what works for you best, what is the best time that you can concentrate on your studies and stick to it. And don't give up. Again, make sure that you stick, be disciplined and make sure that you do the work and then you will succeed. Moreover, yeah. you, we give you a, a program advisor to be with you when you study. You have also an instructor. This is our faculty member who is there to teach you and be with you when you have difficulties. So anytime you have any problem, academic or non-academic, and non-academic may, may, might be technology, you need to withdraw, you need an extension, go to your program advisors. That's why they are there and they are there to help you all the way from the day you start with us until you graduate. Use them, use their advice, use their knowledge and uh, use their support to make sure that you succeed. Definitely. And like Shai said, we have the support available for all students, new and returning. So please reach out to your program advisors, send them an email. We also have shared um, some scheduling tips on all of our social channels. So if you're someone who is struggling to create a schedule that works for you, check out our Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube page. We've shared a blog on how you can create the best study schedule so that you can start each term off strong. And then number three, what are some habits that help you set up your day for success? Me. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, I'm, by the way, I, I myself am very disciplined. Um, I make sure that uh, I see, not necessarily I answer, but I see every email every day. Yeah. I try to answer all of them every day. Uh, have the meetings that I need on time, meeting schedules. Uh, I think that what um, 
my day is a combination of what I have to do and what I want to do. <laughs> and I think that that's, that's actually, you know, there are things that all of us need to do. Right. You know, we like eating. We're not necessarily, we don't like necessarily preparing the food, but we need to prepare <laughs> it in order to eat it and enjoy it. Um, so, you know, uh, it's a combination of the two and find a balance between the two and be disciplined and uh, meet the schedule that you, the targets that you put to yourself in order to succeed. Yes, definitely. We all have goals. I know all of us are students. We want our main goal is to earn our degree, but it takes setting small goals throughout the day, doing the things that you need to do and the things that you want to do in order to get to that final goal, which is to have your degree. So don't get discouraged. It's going to get hard, but the feeling of accomplishment once you earn your degree from University of the People is definitely going to be worth it. And for those of you who might already be struggling, I know it's the start of a new term. You might be wondering why is it already hard? Um, Shai, how do you stay motivated when things get hard for you? Well, I, I think that the best thing is always to step back and to ask yourself, why are you there? Why am I here? Why did I put myself in this situation? Because nobody forced you to go to University of the People, right? You chose to come there. Why did you choose to come? You had goals to achieve. You have dreams to to uh, that you have that you want them to to you want to realize them and your people is the best way for you to achieve them so remember that and when when you feel hard and you feel that you are on the brink of giving up just think about why you are there and always give yourself a second chance say okay it's really hard let's try it one more time okay and it will work believe me it will work because studying is a hard process, but it's a rewarding one. And when you master something, the satisfaction is amazing. So you should stick with, with the work and always tell yourself, remind yourself why you are there. Maybe you want to put sticky notes on your, <laughs> on your, on your computer to remind yourself why you're there. And again, and if you have hard time, send an email to your program advisor. They are there to help you and to give advice and make things easier for you. Yes, and we have a lot of student communities. Our students have WhatsApp groups, we have Yammer, we have Facebook. Please lean on your fellow students, lean on your program advisor. It can be hard to ask for help. Um, I personally, I'm Nigerian, so for my culture, it's not really, you know, we like to be independent and we like to just do our own thing. But at the University of the People, we're collaborative. We work together, we work with, we partner with major universities, we partner with program advisors, we partner with students, and it's really important to not just stay alone, even in a virtual um, learning setting. You have to ask for help when you need it, or else it's going to get hard, it's going to be impossible to do. So don't feel bad if you need to ask for help. We are here every step of the way to help you succeed and help you earn your degree from UO people. And I know there are tons of awesome things about UO people. We are tuition free. We're 100% online. We have amazing program advisors. We have amazing students. What is your favorite part or parts about UO people? Well, the truth is that my favorite part about UO people is UO people. What do you mean? <laughs> I like everything. <laughs> I, you know, I, University of the People was created to open the gates of higher education yeah. for everyone. Some people come to us because they can't afford anywhere else. Some people come to us because of our flexibility. Some people come to us because they live in places, you know, you mentioned Nigeria, where there aren't enough universities. They're qualified, but there are no options for them. Some of them because they're deprived politically, but some of them, or many, many of them, because of the flexibility and because of the quality. Because if you're a working adult, you need to be able to study whenever you can study rather than whenever the university tells you to study. <laughs> right. And if you are, you know, and if, if you are uh, studying remotely, you want to make sure that the quality is there. And this is university of the people. So I think that my favorite part is to enable people who come to us because they feel that we are the best option to them. And then they come to us and say, we wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Right. Not necessarily for one reason or the other, as I said, simply because they are parents to kids and they can't 
they don't have the flexibility uh, to go to a regular university. So they need one day to study, as I said, after the kids go to sleep, the next right. day before they wake up. But they need this flexibility. And we offer that. And between, you know, the people who are uh, with us, with the two of us, in the university, the universities that we are partner with, such as Harvard Business School Online, such as McGill and Edinburgh and NYU, and with the professors who are coming from the best universities of the world to help our students and to make our um, our mission accomplished, uh, we have an amazing university. So I'm very proud of what we are and what we do. And, and you know, it's like, you know, I'm... I'm I feel like I'm the father of, <laughs> of, <laughs> of the university and the 120 plus stu thousand students. So, you know, they're all my kids. So I love them all. Yeah. So. I love it. Honestly, even working here, being able to help students, help real people, you know, get their education. Being educated is so important. It's a struggle that a lot of people don't have access to. So the fact that the university was invented and created for the sole purpose of educating the world at an affordable price, um, giving flexibility, um, helping everyone that we can. We have scholarships. We have a lot of partnerships that we do. Our students not only get to learn through our university, but they get to learn about the world um, through all of our virtual classes, our peer-to-peer -peer review. Um, we want to make sure that our students are not only taking skills to learn in college, but they're taking skills that are going to help the world and help their community. And I think every single one of the students, the ones who are watching, the ones who are going to watch this later, truly appreciate the hard work that you did um, in creating this university and the hard work that you put in every single day in maintaining the high quality standards for your people. And very last question before we end this live today. What are a few things that students can do to stay on top of their co coursework for this term? Well, I think I would, I would just before I answer, because yes. we have so many comments coming I know, in. so many. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for so, all of the love. <laughs> I will reply to only one. Someone from Lebanon asked about uh, the lack of uh, electricity. Um, well, studying with us, you don't, it's asynchronous. Yeah. You can study anytime from anywhere. So if you have internet only for a few hours a day, you can study with us. Moreover, um, we enable our students to study within any internet connection. So you don't need broadband. Yeah. And you can use any device from a, a, a regular computer to a laptop, iPad, cell phone. So you can study anywhere, anytime. And if you're in Lebanon, and I know that there are some electricity issues in Lebanon. Lebanon is not in a great uh, shape economically this day. Yeah. Um, just study with us. And whenever you can study, you can make it. As long as you can complete the weekly assignment, you can yeah. study with us. Definitely. Now to your, what was your question again? Yes, no problem. Thank you for saying that because it's not only Lebanon, plenty of countries have that oh, yeah. issue where electricity is not on 24 seven. And we understand that, which is why we made it asynchronous. So you are going to have to plan accordingly if you have an electricity shortage to make sure that when there is electricity that you're studying to get those assignments done, talk to your program advisors, talk to your course facilitators. If they know what's going on with you, they will be able to give you the grace and support you need to complete those assignments. So don't get discouraged. Just talk to us. Let us know. Learning is collaborative at University of the People. So please reach out to your program advisor and let them know what's going on. Reach out to your course facilitator, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you every single step of the way. And our final question before we head off today, um, what are a few things students can do to stay on top of their coursework for this term? Well, I think that... Um... The first thing is to make sure, especially in the, if it's their first term, to learn the system. Yeah. It's hard. We're trying to make it very, um, very easy, very usable, very friendly. It's not always the case because, as you know, we have over 120,000 students from over 200 countries and territories. And every single one of them is different than the other. So whatever we think is easy, is probably easy to many, but not necessarily for you. Right. So try to, uh, to understand, because eventually, when you study with us, beginning is hard, but after you overcome it, and after you learn the system, it becomes really easy. I know that even one of our board members, a couple of terms ago, took a class with us. Wow. 
And, you know, he has two MAs, he wrote seven books. Wow. And he said, you know, let me try it. It's a piece of, it will be a piece of case. <laughs> He said it was so hard. It was unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> now, partially because he's slightly older and partially because he was not used to it. Right. So studying, studying online for most of us is a new thing. So I'm saying stay on top of your homework. Don't get, get behind and start to learn. You don't understand something? Ask questions. Ask your instructor. Ask your program advisor. You don't get an answer? Ask again. Complain. Yes. You know, make sure that you are on top of things and get all the help in the world that you need. Believe me, you do good in the first term. You will good do. You will do good later on. Moreover, if you took two two courses, and that's for all of our students, not only the beginners, and you feel that it's a really hard, consider dropping one of the courses. Yeah. Better making good in one course than failing two. Oh, right. So, pretty much, you know. Make sure that you're on top of things. Make sure that you get all the help that you need. We are there for you. Remember that. And I can but wish all of our students great success, great term. The term just started and a great academic year. And hopefully next year we will meet all of us here again. Yes. A year later. <laughs> yes. Thank you all. Thank you so much for joining and have a great start to your new academic year and new term. Thank you, Shai, for all that great advice. I hope you all have a great day or night, no matter where you are in the world. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Sarah, and thank you, everyone else. Yes. Bye. Bye.